Hi, I'm Kate Warren here with Tom LeMond, who is a certified professional CV writer and one of our go-to CV writers here at DevX, where he just wrapped up a very informative session on how to write a great development CV. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Great. So, one question to start off. What is the difference between a CV and a resume, and which should you be using for global development jobs? Great question. Um, a resume in the United States is generally the private sector one or two page document that lists your qualifications and your experience and your education. And it's the format that's preferred in the private sector. The CV in the development sector is a, can be a longer document. It covers the same basics like skills and qualifications, professional experience and education but it might also add certifications, it might add regional experience, it might add languages that you speak. Uh, it emphasizes information that's more important in the development sector, and it can be three to five pages long. And you have a special formula for talking about your accomplishments, CAR or C-A-R. Can you explain that? Uh, yeah, CAR is an acronym that refers to context, uh, action that you've taken, and the results of the action that you've taken. In a lot of cases, the, uh, the professional experience is written like a job description. So instead of, you know, you, you might just take your old job description and say, I was responsible for X, Y, Z. With a CAR statement, you will say that you managed a project, which was an action, in a, an office that was underperforming, which is the context, and you turn the office around within 12 months and that's the result of your action. So instead of just telling me, I know what I was supposed to do, you're telling me, I know what I did, I, I know how it helped. And what are some of the common mistakes you see people make in their CVs? Uh, not taking advantage of the first half page of the, re of the CV is probably the most common mistake. Um, you really need to think of the first half of your CV as a like the marquee at a movie theater. It's what draws you into the theater to watch the movie and decide if you like the movie. Um, the first half page should really say who you are professionally, what your skills are, and then that should be backed up in the professional section. 